promise you, agent, can't escape me forever. We're playing a game you take from me, I take from you. But every game ends, and when this one is through, I expect you to die. in your ear they've no chance to save you a mere puppeteer they only enslave you you're a piece on a board I bet with my wealth my armies of dreams your every success unveil still greater schemes a lake full of acid a drill from the sky if you try to fight me we'll watch your hopes die lasers and sawblades with Sharks don't stand by your right where I want you to lose. And this is goodbye. I expect you to die. Welcome to the Enhanced Operative Division. I am your assigned handler and support agent. We're going to be fast friends, I have no doubt. Your new implants allow you to use telekinetic abilities to manipulate the world around you. Back when I was a field agent, we had to pick things up the old-fashioned way. <sighs> Fumbling for it after our third martini. I find testing your spine to be an absolute joy, don't you? Try leaning left. Sometimes our agents need to lean both directions. Needle, needle, needle. Try leaning right now. Now that we're finished with calisthenics, let's move on to dexterity. The current slide illustrates how to activate switches. Shall we put it to the test? Your ability to push buttons is beyond reproach, agent. But what about your ability to pick things up? Fortunately, as the current slide shows, we're flexible. You can pick things up by using your index finger on the trigger button or your middle finger on the grip button. Amazing, I know, they both work. I've left you a very cryptic note by the projector. Try picking it up. I don't normally condone the use of fire indoors. Uh, pick up the lighter on your left, then press the touchpad to light it. Then burn the note. Excellent! Let's practice aiming with your new telekinetic powers. Press the touchpad and aim at an object. When the circle is blue, pick it up with your index or middle finger. It's just like picking up things near you, but the things are far away. Pick up the target at the door. Now that you're a natural. While still holding the target, move your thumb to press the hover or menu button. It's right above the touchpad. The target will hover in the air. Well done. I wish we could afford real plans, but our dry martini budget is disproportionate to, well, everything else. Now, try to hover another target over the chair in front of you. Oh. 
In case you've forgotten, the current slot. Excellent work. Let's try one more if you're feeling frisky. Hover the third target over the round table to your right. Well placed. Now, there's only one thing we do to targets around here. Well, two if you... Great shot. Now, try to shoot another target. Only one... Opening drawers and compartments will be instrumental in navigating the various desks you may encounter on your dangerous missions. In case you've forgotten how to grab, the tra- Excellent. I'll unlock the training slide reel from the projector after you retrieve your new mission from the door. To unlock the training slides, grab your first mission from the door. Well done. Feel free to explore your new office. When you're ready, put in Operation Friendly Skies to begin that mission. We're calling this mission Operation Friendly Skies. I hope you like cars and airplanes, and cars in airplanes. Dr. Zor. Corporate billionaire by day, underhanded villain by night, has a cargo plane scheduled to depart for Zanzibar this very evening. We need you to infiltrate the plane before it takes off, gain access to the vehicle held within, and drive it right off the airplane. Our intel assures us Zor's car is equipped to handle a fall from any height, so we're almost positive you won't die. Press the start button to begin your mission. Dr. Zor, corporate... Dr. Zor, corporate... Bi Press the start button to begin your mission. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. You know, smoking may cause a slow and painful death. Detected. Present eye for retina scan. Move head closer to scanner. Scan avoided. Targeting. Laser avoided. Deploying secondary countermeasures. Ha <laughs> the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. I believe diffusing bombs is covered in basic training, yes? You'll need to cut those wires, Agent.
You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. early to celebrate, don't you think? Oh, the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. Scanner malfunction. Deploying secondary countermeasures. Ha <laughs> ha, the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the cl You'll need to cut those wires, Agent. No ticking is good ticking, as they say. Now, can we please focus on getting the car out of the plane? Honestly, Agent, we want the car in one piece. Nothing short of an explosion is going to make a dent in that cargo door. Weapons offline. Weapons offline. Weapons offline. Next message. Zor, there is an urgent matter we must discuss. Contact me on a secure line immediately. Next message. Uh, hello, uh, Dr. Sword. Uh, uh, this is Thaddeus Bumblesnatch. Uh, I've seen you do many creative from. things with uh, a knife, but I don't think turning screws will be among uh, them. Eighty years ago, or... Perhaps five minutes ago, I'm not sure. The time machine's a little bit wonky. Uh, I had dropped $20 out of my pocket, and I believe one of you, uh, uh, your clones or henchmen, uh, picked it up, and I would really appreciate it if at some point you could get that back to me, uh, depending on where in time you are. You could leave it at the safety deposit box at First National Bank. Uh, hopefully you don't then cure your future self, doesn't then rob the bank, and then... I'll uh, steal it back. Anyway, uh, call me back. Uh, uh, yes, thank you. Bye.
System resetting. Weapons online. Deploying scorpions. Next message. We uh, may have an issue with Operation Toxic Rain. I'll keep you posted. Unconventional, but then again, convention never was your strong suit. You'd better drive the car off the plane before something else explodes. Parachutes deployed. Another successful mission. Now, about that vacation, I'm afraid I lied about that. But I believe hard work is its own reward, don't you? I see you brought back some explosive souvenirs. Nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Keep it up. We finished dissecting Zor's car, and only two technicians died in the process. A new record. A few of Zor's car phone messages were from the head of a pharmaceutical company that produces lady shampoo. I hope they have plenty on hand, because things are about to get hairy. And dirty. Thus the, the, the need for the shampoo. Anyway, your next mission is waiting for you at the door when you're ready.